nothing that's strange. What, what is your view on that? Yes, good. You see, in, in, in Islam, I must mention this, uh, there is always been like that. The women are asked to sit at the back and the men are sit in the front or sit completely separate. They can't see each other. And some of the Hindu sectarian movements do the same. What's the reason? Always don't vilify people. There is a reason. Behind. The reason is this. They say when you are going to a place of, you know, for making spiritual progress, you don't want gender attraction to get in your way. Gender attraction is not a minor thing. It's like a real wow virus. So when you say beautiful lady or a beautiful handsome man, you know, your eyes are attracted. You forget God and all these things. You just keep looking at their hairstyle. So, so, so it's a major distraction. And some of the spiritual giants, gurus, etc., including in other religions, recognize this. And that is why they wanted to make sure this gender attraction doesn't get involved in the place of worship. And that is why they were doing this partitioning. But then you see, the world is moving on. And now, for, for example, in some sector and movement, they were saying the women should sit at the back. Now they say, no, no, they sit side by side. Keep them distant. At the same time, give them equal dignity. So this is how, th you see, we are evolving religion. So we continue to evolve and take on the challenges and explain why things were done in this manner, not to vilify you know, a guru or a teacher. free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.